I made a video one time about how the Constitution states that every state is a sovereign state, meaning they can print their own money. And once upon a time, they did print their own money before you had Federal Reserve or the Federal Reserve Bank or the federal government. We didn't always have a federal government. We used to have a national government. But they regulate the money. And in time, the money changes, the world changes. North Carolina has just passed a bill that is banning and participating in CBDC testing. CBDC is the digital currency for the federal government. Now, like I said, by the constitution constitutional right every state is sovereign meaning every state possibly can print their own money the reason why they don't print their own money anymore is because of the high fee that the federal reserve bank which is a centralized banking system meaning it's not national, meaning the United States does not print their own money and have not printed their own money since the 1930s. Okay? They print Federal Reserve notes. It's two different currencies. The United States dollar and the Federal Reserve note is not the same thing. But we are changing the world again. The money has changed again because since the pandemic, the money has evaporated. There is no money. 40% of the money that the United States or the world, sorry, globally that is even in the world, 40%, at least 40% of the world money kind of has come, been printed in the last six months. When the money change, the world changes. China, India, Brazil, Russia, they're not really using the U.S. dollar anymore. Now, the threat of not using the U.S. dollar anymore would make the United States a second-class nation. No longer the world power. And usually when you have this, you have war. Just saying. I'm just saying. Historically, when the money changes, the world changes. Just be on the lookout. Just a little econ for you.